In the project settings window, there is a section called quality. There you can define different levels of quality for your application. In this video, I will show you how to choose the quality level at runtime by pressing a key and also using a drop down menu from the cameras. We will also see how you can easily save the chosen quality and load it when the application starts. Subscribe to this channel and let's start solving this problem. I will create a canvas and inside create the drop down object. In the inspector, we need to set up the different options. In this case, as there are three quality levels, I will name them quality 1, 2 and 3. Please pay attention to this. The first option corresponds to the value 0. Second option for value 1. Third option for value 2 and so on. And with this on value changed event, we can execute a function that requires an integer value. So to do that, let's create a new script and an empty game object to assign it otherwise the script won't be executed, no matter how hard you try. Inside the script, we will define a change quality function that requires an integer value, and inside, execute the set quality level function from the quality settings class, passing the quality index received as parameter. So if we execute this function with 0, 1, and 2, we will change between those quality levels. Now, let's change the quality when we press the number 1, 2, and 3 from the keyboard. For that, inside update, we read those keys and inside execute the change quality function, passing the proper value as parameter. If we run this, when pressing 1, 2 and 3, as you can see, the quality is changing. Please remember that you can subscribe to this channel with the button below. Now, let's change the quality settings using the drop down menu. For that, we select our drop down object and in the inspector, add a new element in the onValueChanged event, drag the game object that has the script with the change quality function to this field, and using this drop down menu, choose the change quality function inside the dynamic int section, not this change quality function from here, but this function in the dynamic int section. If we run this, we can change the quality settings using the drop down menu. I will repeat it a third time. If you choose the wrong function, it won't work, because you will always be calling the function with this parameter from here, which is static, never changes. You need to choose the dynamic in function, and that way, when the dropdown changes, the function will be called with the dynamic value that the dropdown menu has. So, it's all working, but if we exit the application and enter it again, you'll notice that the quality settings resets every time. So now we will see an easy way to save the quality settings and load it when the application starts. And we also need to load the value in the dropdown object so it indicates the right value when starts. Inside the script, we will include the tmpro namespace, define a tmp underscore dropdown variable, and in Unity, drag the dropdown object to that variable. Let's save the in value that we received when the function is called. For that, we use the set in function from the player prefs class passing a name for the save data and the value we receive as parameter. And to load this data, in start we will set the value of the dropdown variable with the value read from player prefs using the getInt function, passing the same name we use for saving and also we could add a default value, for example number 2. So if it's not any saved data, default quality will be this one. And as we are changing the value from the dropdown object, Unity will automatically call the onValueChanged event, so the change quality function will be automatically called on start. And that's all. Here you can see that the quality level is 1. We hit play, the quality level changes to level 3 because there wasn't any saved data. Now let's change it to level 2 with the dropdown object, exit the application, enter again, and as you can see, Unity loads the second level of quality. Don't forget to subscribe so we'll see each other again in the next video.